Okay, and we're back. I talk a lot of crap about Panini, but I've seen these Chronicles boxes, and I just thought, what the hell, why not? Chronicles over here, I don't know what the price is like back in the U.S. and other places, but in Taiwan, this is the cheapest of the Panini boxes. And since none of them ever get cheaper here, the price just stays the same, unlike in the U.S. where the older stuff just starts dropping, dropping, dropping in price. This is basically my only chance of getting one of the cheaper boxes where I'm actually guaranteed some autos inside. So, um, yeah, it's been a while since I broke. Um, I'm doing a couple of breaks today, so I don't know what order I'm going to be putting them up in. Maybe this is the first one you see. Maybe this will be the second one you see. I'm not totally sure, but... Um, this is my lone Chronicles box. We'll see if Chronicles impresses me. We'll see if Panini impresses me. Since the only Panini I've ever opened is their NXT stuff, which impressed me at first, and then now it's just kind of become a regular thing to open because I have a case that I got to kill off. So, so here we go, Chronicles. I've been seeing some pretty decent hits from people out of this one, but I've also seen some pretty... Just plain boxes of the Chronicles as well. So, God, there's all the look for randomly all. Look how many there are there. Oh, this is all that weird stuff. This cracked ice, noir, gold, gold, vinyl. Oh, God. This is what's going to throw me off when I do this stuff is I have no idea what the hell I'm looking for. I only thing I've ever opened of Panini, like I said, I've only ever opened... Should I put that up here, or should I have Hogan and Macho Man giving me luck? Nah, we'll stick the Chronicles up there. We can still see Macho. Alright, so like I said, the only Panini I've ever opened is the NXT. And NXT does not have all those weird, weird, weird... Cracked Ice Zebra print, Cougar Living Next Door print, and all that stuff. So... We will see what we have here. So we're guaranteed two autographs per box on average. What's this on average crap? Uh, oh, yeah, and I've been seeing that there are some redemptions in these ones as well. I think it's that Gable Stevenson is one of the main ones that's a redemption on this stuff. So I don't know. We'll see what type of things we get inside of here. I have no idea where to start. Like, each box looks different. This one looks like it's got either a monster card or a spacer in it. That one looks like it's got a spacer. Uh, I have no idea. Let's just pick out a random pack and see what type of stuff we have in here. I honestly, this is this is the first time I've ever, I'm ever looking at this stuff. So, we'll go a little slower through it. My phone better not die. All right, Ivy Nile rookie card. That's a nice card. Um, a Kevin Owens prestige card. It's a nice looking card. See, this is the type of thing where I have no idea if there's numbers on the box of these or what I'm supposed to be looking for. Is there a number? Nope. A Scott Steiner flux. That's a really thick ass card. Scott Steiner, Detroit, Michigan, 45 minutes from where I used to live. Oh, hey. that's a nice card. I like that. Shayna Baszler. What's this? Spectra. Oh, hey. I, I was I was complaining about people who don't know the stuff that they're breaking, but god damn, this is every card in this box is different. And I'm only on my first one so far. Oh, right, so that one's numbered. So we've got a 199 Spectra card of Shayna Baszler. Oh, all right. So there we go. We have our first. I dropped it. <laughs> it's my card anyway. Who cares? It's a Prism Spectra. I don't know. All right. This is the type of stuff I got to learn about if I'm going to open many more of these ones. But we got to see what type of stuff we get in this box first. Don Morocco. Oh, one of my dream autos. The very first match I ever saw live was at WrestleMania 3. I <laughs> beat that. Uh, WrestleMania 3, Don Morocco, and Cowboy Bob Orton versus the Can-Am Connection. That was my very first live wrestling wrestling show and wrestling match that I'd ever seen. Akira Tozawa. We've got some, what's this, Elite. Can they use the word Elite? I'm very shocked that they could use the word Elite. I right, Axiom. Elite card. No numbering on it, so I have no idea if that's anything special. 
Rhea Ripley an XR card? I don't know. All right, there we go. Lots of shiny shinies. I like shiny shiny stuff. Not a big. I'm not a big Rhea Ripley fan. She looks like one of my friends, but like way better. But she still looks like one of my friends, and it kind of bothers me. Okay, Idris enough. That is, I can't even, what is this? Luminance card. What is all this stuff? A luminance card of him. That's an NXT card. No numbering on that one. A Rock Chronicles base card is what I'm guessing these ones are. We've got a Johnny Rods. John, I think that's the first time I've ever seen what Johnny Rods looks like. Johnny Rods, that's a Spectra, Spectar, Spectra. I think it's, I think it says Spectra on there. I don't know. All right, we've got an almost, an almost, what's this card? That's another specialty shiny, shiny card. All right, I know I'm making fun of them, but I, because I don't know what the names of half these cards are. All right, a Jimmy Uso base card. That's nice. I like these base ones. They're very plain, but they're very cool, Ooh, except for Bailey. All right, a Bailey base. We've got a Mike Mizanin. So what's this? 2002 certified. This almost seems like they had a whole bunch of cards for a whole bunch of sets that they didn't make, and they just threw them all together. All right, Trick Williams. NXT card. Rookie card with some cool little emblem down there. So yeah, this just looks like it's like, we didn't know what to do with most of these cards, so we're just throwing them all into a box. Okay, so here we have, we're just gonna pick them up instead of, cause I gotta flip them each time, cause I wanna see what they actually are. A Batista Legacy card. I'm not a big Batista fan, but that's a nice card. It looks like a playing card. Like it looks like the cool back of a playing card. I like that one. We have a Randy Orton Origins card. That's a nice one. The, the red and the coloring and the stuff in the background, that's a nice card. We've got a Charlotte Flair Optic. Okay. Charlotte Flair Optic. Once again, I'm not sure what Optic versus the other ones means. Here's that weird Flux thing that looks like a sticker from the 80s that I would have put onto my lunchbox of Shawn Michaels. We've got a Road Dog. I was just I just before I did this break, I was listening to the Road Dog podcast. I say it's it's bad that usually when you see Road Dog, the first thing you think of is like, "Oh, you didn't know?" The first thing I think of is Blue Chew. I I I should be sponsored by Blue Chew. It's it's funny because they he makes fun of Blue Chew so much on his on his podcast. So that's the first thing I put with him now. All right, Mace or Masse or Makase or whatever they're doing with that one. I don't even know. All right, JCJ. What's this black? What does black mean? NXT black card. Okay. NXT black. Rookie card of JCJ. And we have a red elite of the Miz. See, I don't know. We're going to have to look all this crap up later because I've got, there's so many cards here. We've only got one numbered card, but there's a lot of really cool cards so far. Like there's some really nice stuff. I don't know. Some of these ones, I'm guessing some of the parallels are going to be like unnumbered stuff. I just don't know how, oh, God damn it. I got to stop dropping cards. They're so slippery too. Like some of these ones, I don't know what is, what is considered a parallel or what is considered yeah there's because i know it's like look for two autos and 27 different colored parallels inside of these boxes all right we've done pretty good where we haven't hit one of the autos yet i don't know let's go with let's go with this one we're gonna save that one with the big fat thing in the middle of it till the end okay a playoff card that's a new one for us shotzi blackheart playoff card that's a nice card of Shotzi. We have an Alba Fire. What is this? Luminance. Okay, we've had a couple Luminance cards already. Alba Fire, NXT Luminance. God, when I see the numbers on the back of some of these cards, like number 159, number 789. All right, rookie, shiny, shiny card for Idris Enough. 
I don't know what that card is called, but that's got like a real weird, it looks like somebody's got like a, it's got like a fingerprint dent in the side of it. Good thing I don't put any of these ones up. Okay. All right. We have something upside down here. Maybe we'll save that one for a second. I don't know. All right. We have a Ravishing Rick Rude Chronicles base card. That's nice. We have a Kit Wilson out of 10. All right. Panini 1. Kit Wilson out of 10. So there we go. Number 2 out of 10, Kit Wilson. That's a thick-ass card. All right. Put that one down there. Okay, we seem to have an auto, which means I would like to hide the auto before I see what it is. All right, now on one side of the auto, we have a Charlotte certified, which is crap. And on the other side of the auto, we have a Seamus, and that's a cool Seamus. It's a 199 numbered Seamus. That makes me happy because I collect Seamus. All right, behind Seamus is an auto. We're going to keep that there for right now. Let's pull out the fat boy here then instead. We're going to pull out the fat one here. All right, we have a red season ticket. Season ticket AJ Styles. That's a nice card. I really like that card. I'm putting that over here even though it's not numbered. I like that season ticket thing and I love AJ, so why not? Bianca Belair scorecard. Okay, there we go. Oh, sorry if there's a reflection on these ones. A Paul Heyman optic. That's nice. I don't know how I tell if it's like a special optic or if it's just an optic. I don't know. Like I said, I still got to look into all this stuff. All right. It looks like we have some type of a relic here. So we will all, oh, we'll put something awesome on this relic. On one side, we're going to put a Booker. On the other side, we're putting Jinder Mahal. So we're going to hide a relic behind Jinder. All uh, right, and while we're at it, we have a black card of Gorilla Monsoon. And we have a numbered parallel 199 Luminance of Big E. All uh, right, we'll stick that in front of Kit and Shayna. And we'll pull out our last one here. Okay, so inside here, we got a spacer inside of this one. So I'm guessing maybe our relic there should be autoed as well. Because it doesn't look like there's an auto in this part. All right. We've got a Goldberg. What's this one? Astounding something. Thank God. There's just so many names of all these cards. We've got a Joe Gacy rated rookie. Oh, there's like a thousand rookie cards. We have a very, very shiny Ronda Rousey. That one kind of looks like a playing card type thing as well. That's a nice card. We have an Iron Sheik. Sheiky Baby. Sheiky Baby. That one is the Spectra. Spectar, Spectra, something like that. Chronicles base of the Hickety Honkety Man. We've got a base of Solo Sioka. We have an XR shiny card of DDP. And we have, what's this one? A certified card of Oliver Carter. Okay, so that is one hell of a mix. That is just some really, really nice cards in there. That Rousey one is pretty nice. I love that Gorilla Monsoon. Love the Paul Heyman. Idris enough. That Alba Fire card is hot too. That's not even a shiny one. Nice one of Shotzi. There's a nice Miz, JCJ, Shawn Michaels, 80s style, Charlotte Flair. I love that Origins of Randy Orton as well. That's a nice one. We're going to put that in front of Steve Austin over here. I really like that Origins card. All right. Trick Williams. We got another Miz. And eh, Bailey. Almost Johnny Rods, Idris Enough. There's that Ripley card. There's that Scott Steiner '80s style card. That is that is a. These are pretty quality cards, but my God, it's such a mix. It's like I don't even know what to say on that one. It's just so mixed up. 
Okay, let's look at what we have here. We've got a Booker T on the back there, and we've got a Jinder Mahal Chronicles covering a Silhouettes card. What's a Silhouettes card? A Brutus Creed. That's a really big Crown Royal. Isn't Crown Royal like a type of alcohol? Oh, hey. Right. Brutus Creed Crown Royale, I guess. All right, it's a Crown Royale sticker auto. That is an awful autograph. Look at that. Looks like a three-year-old wrote it for him. All right, he's a good wrestler. I'm not going to completely complain on that one, but that's that that auto looks like it was written by a two-year-old. All right, so we're going to get Charlotte off here so that she doesn't ruin everything for us. And we have a Sheamus. Sheamus out of 199. 193 out of 199 is covering an auto. We have Origins Auto. Oh, I think I know who this is. We got some blonde hair up there. We got a Michelle McCool Origins. No numbering, but that's still Michelle McCool. That's something that is not in my collection whatsoever. It's a nice auto. I don't know. I don't know how many autos she did. Her auto. I was just complaining about Brutus Creed's auto, but like, look at that. That looks like she got her her and Undertaker's kid to write that one. But that's still that's a nice card. I don't know how many autos Michelle McCool has had in these sets. I think she had a few autos way back in tops, but she hasn't really done much since then. So that's a cool one. That's going into my collection. That's a nice one there. Autograph guaranteed by Panini. Really, how can you guarantee that? Like, that's just boop boop. That's just like two squiggly lines. Okay, so Chronicles, what do I think? I don't know. It's a really cool set that seems to have the, the set seems to have ADD. It really does. It's like the set has its own form of ADD, it has no way to keep track of itself. Like there's just so much weird stuff in there. I I would guess that I have a whole bunch of different parallels in there that people might be looking for. I have no idea. I'm going to have to find out what each one is and if they're actually listed on the back or if they're if that's just the way those things look. All right, there we go. There is our Michelle McCool and because I collect him Seamus is going to need to go into a top loader as well, because that's going to go right into my Seamus collection when I put these cards away. I have a giant Seamus collection. The other ones I'm going to do the same thing to as well. I just need a bigger one for that Brutus Creed one. Okay, so Chronicles. Eh, for the price, yeah, I don't know. Like, the Michelle McCool made up for it. All those cool-ass cards in there, that does kind of make up for some stuff. I just don't know what I have. You know what I mean? I, I don't know if any of that stuff, if there is, if any of these parallels are unnumbered or if the parallels are always numbered and I'm just looking at a lot of shiny, shiny cards. So that's, it's a decent box. Like it's a, it's a pretty decent box for what you get for the price, for what I hit. Eh, I don't know. I don't know if that was a solid, solid box or not. Like, I, I could have gotten two boxes of some other stuff and gotten double the autos out of this, but I may not have gotten a Michelle McCool. So, yeah, I would say I would say pretty good. I'm interested in possibly opening another Chronicles. Like, I, I think I will open one more Chronicles just to see what type of thing I get. Beyond that, if it's nothing huge, if it's nothing spectacular, that may be it for me with Chronicles. I don't know. Unless they go on super sale in the US and I can get some shipped over here for really cheap. Like if I could get them for a lot cheaper, it'd be really nice. So um, not too bad. It was an interesting thing to open. It's very, very, I guess, eclectic would be a nice word to be able to put towards this. Like there's just so much in the way of shiny cards. Like, there is so many chromed cards in here. Like, your base set, if you were trying to put together an actual base set, these set with the C on it there, it would be damn near impossible. 
you would have to open like at least 27 cases of this stuff to be able to put together any type of a set. I didn't even notice that rock is numbered. See, that's how I don't even know what I'm doing. That rock card is numbered out of 199. So that base card that I thought was just a regular base card is actually numbered. So maybe there's going to be some more numbered stuff in here that I didn't even realize. The numbers are kind of hard to see on some of these ones. It looks like all these shiny ones are not numbered though. I think that's it. I think I just missed the one numbered card there. Unless, and it seems like everything is numbered on the front. I don't think anything has any types of numbers on the back. And I don't know, like, if I'm supposed to be looking for some type of code on the back of these ones. Or if it says, like, do these, will these say that this is, like, cracked ice or, like, cougar tail or, I don't know, camel toe or whatever. Do they, will they say it somewhere on them? Or do I just assume, like, that one says luminance on the back, but it says luminance on the front as well. That one says black on the back, but it's black on the front as well. So... I don't know. I'm going to have to look into some of these cards, reach out to a few of the Panini guys that I've probably pissed off over time and see if they can tell me if I have something cool here or not. So, all right. So there we go. There's my first Chronicles. I'm glad I opened one. I've seen so many people opening them. A lot of people hitting some really cool stuff. So I'm glad I opened one. That's cool. I'm glad I got a Michelle McCool. I probably could have paid a lot less for a Michelle McCool auto, but... I got some cool parallels along with it that will go into my collection or trade off or sell to other people. So that's it for me. That's it for my Chronicles. That wasn't too bad. That was pretty cool. It's pretty bad that two of my favorite cards are the Randy Orton and the AJ Styles, and they're not even numbered over there. They're just really cool ass looking cards. So, um, yep, that's it for me on this one. That was a fun little Chronicles break. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you've been opening Chronicles and getting some cool stuff out of them as well. If you haven't opened one and you're going to, good luck on it. If you haven't and you're not going to, I don't blame you. There's a lot of, there's a lot of sets I don't want to open either. So yeah, it's a cool set. I think it's a fun set to go through. I think if I, w if I wasn't doing it on video, I probably would have went even slower to really look at the cards, to really check out what I have here. But I'm going to go through them afterwards after I throw that Bailey one out the window and see what type of stuff this set has for me and what type of stuff I really hit there. But you saw it all. See what you think on these ones. Let me know in the comments. Um, and if you're breaking, have fun. I'm super, super tired, and I still got three more days of work to go this week because we got to work on a Saturday this week in Taiwan, and I'm not happy about it. So I got to get to bed, and I will be posting this one. I think I'm going to post this one first. I'll post my other break after that one. And check out the other break after this one. There will be another break of NXT 2.0 from Panini and the super, what is it? The Superstar Slabs. Superstar Slabs. That will go up after this one. So check this one out. Stay in. Stay to stay in. Stay in. God. Stay tuned for an NXT Superstar Slabs break after that, coming a little while later. And that's it for me. I will see you guys on the next break. Don't know what it'll be. I do know what it will be. It will be the damn Superstar Slabs one. What am I talking about? I just told you it's going to be Superstar Slabs. And then I say, I don't know what it's going to be. After the Superstar Slabs and the NXT one, don't know what it'll be. But I do have a few more NXTs to break. And a few more months. And we're going to get our new BBM boxes coming out. So I'm excited over that one. So that's it. I will see you guys on the next one. Michelle McCool. We'll bring her up here because Michelle McCool... She's not my type, but God damn, she was always hot. That's it. Michelle McCool's out of here. I'm out of here. See you on the next break.